Hello, we are students of chemistry at the University of Seville in Spain. We will show you an example of a very interesting kind of process, the oscillating reactions. We present the belousov sabotinsky reaction, arranged for the evolution of special patterns. First, we take potassium bromate and put it in a small beaker. We do not use gloves because it is uncomfortable to handle pipettes with them, but proceed at this manner at your own care. sulfuric acid. Now we add potassium bromide. The solution turns dark orange with this reagent. Lastly, we pour a solution of malonic acid. We stir the mixture by hand. A magnetic stirrer can be used, but the solution is small enough. With the mixing process, the solution becomes clear. The dark orange turns yellow and finally colorless. At this point we add ferroin, which gives a dark red color to the solution. When we stir, it turns bluish and then dark red. We pour the solution in a 10 cm diameter petri dish and swirl it to coat the bottom uniformly.
phosphylating reactions are very interesting because this process seems to violate the second law of thermodynamics. For a closed system that is not in equilibrium, entropy must increase. The Gibbs free energy will decrease as the system approximates to the equilibrium state. The indicator in a reaction should show the redox state of the system. Ferroin has iron cations that can be in two oxidation states. As iron 2, the complex is reduced and shows a red color. The system would be oxidated. As iron 3, the complex shows a blue color and the system would be reduced. If the system is initially in one state red color oxidated and the final implies that the color would be blue, it is at first impossible to reach the last color and later to return to the original. The Gibbs free energy would spontaneously increase and consequently the entropy would decrease. So, the second law of thermodynamics will turn. This reasoning is not correct, we have to consider the whole system. Only some species will interact with the indicator ferry. Someone can exceed the equilibrium concentration if the set of them globally approaches to the final state. The excess could reduce the concentration on the regions that act on ferry, causing the returning to the original color. This concentration will change in a quasi-periodic manner with oscillations of color being faster each time, in a damper way. The whole system approaches to the equilibrium, so the entropy will never decrease, will remain under the thermodynamic rule. In our experiment, the color change will be observed especially with red-orange and pale-blue patterns. A local perturbation in the surface of the red-orange solution like dust particles or a silver filament causes the formation of a pale dot inside the dark solution. This will grow slowly. When it reaches sufficient size, a darker dot will appear in the original position and grows at similar rate. With the origin located close to the edge, the pattern resembles multiple waves. If the initial dot is far from the edge, the pattern is composed by concentric rings. When enough time has passed, we can see the patterns caused by multiple growing dots. If two different pale blue edges meet in the solution, they annihilate together. With sufficient time, we can see a complex pattern in the solution. The resulting figure shows a chaotic and fractal trend. Finally, bubbles of carbon dioxide are formed, making difficult to observe the pattern. Eventually, the solution will become completely blue, but the time needed for this is too large.